Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing my recipe for this fried squash and chicken. This dish right here is a very quick, simple, and easy one, and you can eat it with rice or roti of your choice. So I hope you all enjoy, and I hope you all give it a try. In my skillet, I'm going to go ahead and start off with some canola oil. You can use whatever kind of cooking oil that you would prefer. And into this hot oil, I'm going to be going in with my chicken. Now today I'm using boneless, skinless chicken thighs that I've cut up into small chunks and I've seasoned it. If you wanted to use bone-in chicken or larger chunks of chicken, feel free to do that. I'll leave all of my ingredients and the measurements in the description box right below this video so you can see everything I added into my chicken as well. I'm also going to be adding in just a little bit of masala on top of my chicken. Whenever I make fried squash in any form, I always like to add in a pinch of masala or you can go in with some ground jeera. It adds a really nice taste. So while that chicken is frying away, I'm going to go in with some hot pepper. I'm going to go in with some pimento peppers or seasoning peppers, some freshly chopped garlic, some culantro that I've chopped up, and I'm going to stir all of these ingredients very well with the chicken and I'm going to continue to saute this until the chicken is nice and dry and brown in the pot. I also wanted to mention that pimento peppers, hot peppers, garlic, and culantro are all part of my green seasoning and we had already seasoned the chicken with some of that. I just like to go in with extra to really add some freshness. Now once your chicken is nice and dry and browned in the pot, you're going to go ahead and add in all of your sliced onions and you're going to stir this up very well until the onions cook down a little bit as well. So after about another two minutes, my onions have softened up just a little bit as well. And at this point, it is time to go in with my squash. Now this is that long green squash that you can buy at your local Asian or West Indian store. But if you wanted to substitute that green squash with zucchini, you could do that as well. I just found some really nice ones at the store and I thought I would make use of that today. And it is the more traditional way of making this dish. But of course, zucchini would suffice. And after adding in my squash, I'm going to go in with a couple of tomatoes. These are just some cherry tomatoes I had in the freezer. And I'm also going to be going in with some freshly chopped scallions. And now I'm going to season it just a little bit. I'm going to be going in with some black pepper. I'm also going to go in with some salt to taste. And I'm just going to go ahead and mix everything up very well. You're going to notice that as you stir this up, that squash is going to release a lot of water because it has a lot of water content. So you do not need to add any more liquid to this. You can just keep on frying this down until the squash is nice and tender. Now, of course, if you are the type of person that likes your squash to be super melted down and you do not want it chunky, you might have to add in a little bit of water. But for me, my family likes it a little more textured and we don't like to cook it down too much. So this is what my squash is looking like. It is almost done, but I just wanted to show you guys what it's looking like so far. As you all can see, it looks like it's nice and tender. However, there's still a lot of liquid. So we need to keep on cooking this down just a little bit more. At this point, you can also taste it for any seasonings you might want to adjust. And I also wanted to mention that you could add in some coconut milk and cook it down that way as well. But for me, I like it fried down plain. And this right here is a texture that I am happy with. As you all can see, it's cooked down a little bit more. Everything is caramelized together and there's not so much sauce or gravy. I'm serving this alongside many other dishes today, so I didn't want to make it too wet, but you can make it as wet as you want. But that is how quick and simple it is to make my fried squash and chicken. Like I said, if you wanted to use bone-in chicken, feel free to do so. You can also switch it up. You can make this with lamb, you can put beef, you can put shrimp, whatever the case is. I hope you all enjoyed the recipe today. Please go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. Please consider subscribing to my channel if you're not subscribed yet. Please join the Matthews Guyanese Cooking family. And I will see you guys soon in my next video. Bye everyone.